Ooh. What the hell is this? Dude, this person just turned their lights off. What is up fam, my name is Omar and welcome to another adventure. In case you missed the video where I was doing a Randonautica Explore and I went and found this suitcase in the middle of nowhere. Now that was a long time ago, you may be asking, why didn't you open that suitcase? Now in that video, I asked for 50,000 likes and I fell short a couple thousand or so. So make sure to smash that like button if you didn't on that previous video, just to make up for it. Now before we get into opening this suitcase, case I'm gonna take you on a little bit of an adventure my friend Jody and I have been beta testing a couple of new apps that are very very similar to Randonautica we're gonna try both of those apps out before opening the suitcase case. So this is the app, it's called Intentions. Still being worked on, start with our intention. It says speak your intention out loud. I'm thinking of something scary, scary. Uh, there is a car coming, what the heck? Oh my God. So this car just parked right in front of us here and turned its lights off generate all right there we go and explore uh, nine minutes away okay let's go I'm not gonna drive anywhere near that car so we're right at our location um, whoa like in the woods here not the best idea to be on the side of a busy highway. I ain't gonna lie. I'm kind of scared to go through those woods at night. You're not gonna find something all the time, okay? I've shown you that there are times where you will find nothing. Zero! But don't get discouraged. Just keep playing because it's fun. All right, we are coming up on our second location which is right here. I got somebody following me. What the hell? Who is this? What the heck? Dude, this person just turned their lights off. It's a van. Okay, that was pretty suspect. Yo, now they're behind me. Hey, oh yeah. Are you good? <laughs> yeah. uh, I thought you were my buddy. Oh, 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 you thought I was someone else? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. What the hell was that? That was very strange. A woman pulls up behind me, follows me into this parking lot, right where my location has me pinned. And then she says that she thought that I was her buddy. I thought they were gonna pull up next to me and don't do what I just did right now. Bad, bad, bad idea. They say to pick up trash. <gasps> Yo. Did you hear that noise? A noise just came from in here. Hello? Is there anyone in there? Hello? Hello? little storm drain but I thought I heard something come from here thinking it was maybe a car driving by that probably yelled at me or something 
this is where I found the suitcase. Is there anybody out here? Anybody out here? I did make a video not long ago in this general area. There was a woman out front closer to the road. I did ask some of those people that live in this area if the suitcase belonged to them and they said no. All right, so let's just go ahead and get the suitcase and open it up, see what's inside. There was a side of me that was like, hey, what if there's like a bomb or something in here? I know it's not anything dead or decaying. It actually smells like powder. It's not locked. Oh boy. I officially feel bad because this does look like it maybe belonged to a homeless person. But I don't feel bad also, and I'm gonna explain why too. If this did belong to a homeless person, this is what they do. Now, being that this is a very busy area, people know that there are homeless people that stay in these woods, they help them out. They bring them clean clothes all the time. Now, a couple of years back, there was a gentleman by the name of Bill. He was an avid Sasquatch hunter, and he was homeless, living in the woods. I felt bad for him when I started talking to him. He was covered in tick bites. I brought him to my house. And I was like, hey, man, you can stay here. As I got to know him a little bit more this is kind of the thing that he did and he told me that homeless people do this too they have different stashes in different areas because they move around he would have garbage bag in the woods and they were in different places just in case he was in that area he had a place to, to have some clothes if he needed it spaghettios oh that's a full can right there can of tuna some toothpaste uh, toothbrush Okay, that's not toothpaste. Preparation H. Well, those are those are pretty cool socks. Doesn't smell bad. Baby oil. Some combos. Oh, cool! Look, this is probably really stale. Okay. That was beyond stale. Beyond stale. Some toilet paper. Something in here. Ugh. Ow. Oh. The hell is this? I know exactly what this is. I'm glad I'm wearing gloves right now. I think I may have been pinched by one of these needles. I'm gonna have to check here. Yep, yep, I know what this is. And uh, it makes a lot of sense why there was a belt in here too. These are heroin needles. And you could still see a bit of heroin still in them. And the only reason I know this is because I've had family was addicted to, to drugs. They'll put the powder in there and they'll heat this this spoon up. After they're done, they'll stick like a, sometimes a cotton ball to just filter out any, you know, little rocks or anything and just give it to them in liquid form. You know, they put over their arm like that. I'm looking for like maybe some teeth marks. Uh, I'm not seeing any. Oh, yep, right there. Oh, uh, there's more here too. Luckily, there's no actual drugs in here. Um, just a needle and, of course, you know, some paraphernalia. I don't know what to do. This person needs some help. And, I mean, it's been a couple of months. I'm hoping maybe they went to rehab or something. Don't do drugs, kids. Like, this is the type of drug right here that has plagued many families. You can die from it. I know people out there want to try some for the very first time. This is one of those drugs that you do not try for the very first time because you will become addicted. More than likely, this is why this person is on the streets or was on the streets. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. It's actually pretty disgusting. I'm kind of shocked that this was at my house for several months. So I did get a little sting on my hand, but it didn't break the skin. I don't see any blood. See it right there, just kind of scraped 
the surface. Um, thank God weren't wearing these gloves here. I definitely would have gotten stuck with a heroin needle. Yeah, no blood. I think I'm okay. It, it literally just gave me a scratch. More than likely that is what pinched me, unless it was like the edge of the suitcase or something. And sometimes you'll see homeless people panhandling right there. Oh, there is a no trespassing sign right there on the tree it's hidden so it's another one over there i'm gonna go ahead and leave that right where i found it i removed the paraphernalia that was in that suitcase like i mentioned earlier i do feel bad that i took a homeless person's clothes but at the same time like I mentioned it's something that they do either way I feel like I have to pay it forward and help at least three homeless people get them a hotel for a week or two maybe we could take them shopping get them some camping gear a nice warm meal I'm gonna do a sequel to this video doing just that hey who knows maybe we'll take a homeless person Brandon out here. make sure to share this video on social media Twitter Instagram tag me in it and I will follow you back gotta go for now before we leave give me kiss.